Okay, so we're holding a good Shabbos, uh, uh, We're holding, what do we, oh, it's a top line. Top line iron test on the base. Baruch Hashem, now, a little, a few couple of hard gemaras, the next few blood are relatively vacation compared to what it's been for the last couple of weeks. Baruch Hashem. Right, so my God, it's, it's a, timing for vacation week, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I think it's a little early. <laughs> I think it's a little early. But uh, it would be a little better if we, uh, it would be a, yeah, whatever. But anyway, so boy, Rob, top line. Well, some places are on vacation this week already, David. Right, so that's what you mean. Um, okay, so the, so we started discussing it last night. Um, so boy, Rob, a guy says, a guy, the Balaba says, I'm bringing a carbon oil of here for sure, and he's mafresh a shore, and he says, I'm going to bring the shore, which is, is obviously it's expensive. Uba, it's obvious, but it's more expensive than the other animals. And then somebody came along and stole his carbon oil. According to the Rabbana, can he go take a keves, what do you call it, a lamb, and say, Here, you, you owe the carbon oil? I don't want to pay you back the shor. You just need to bring the carbon oil. According to Rabbanon, who hold it, you can replace the shor with a set. Right? So, so, the, so according to the Rabbanon, why not? He could make himself potter with it. So then you, you paid him back. That's one. The oil is the oil of Allah's Or it's cheating. It's cheating the kahanim out of the the hide. The Kahanim allowed to get the hide, but now he's got to get the little Shep's log before he had, you know, he had $500 worth of hide if it was a big, it was big behemoth. And now he's giving him back a Shep's log. The, the Kahanim is going to, hey, what do we get That's out of now? True. You know? Ask him. Hey, this guy ain't getting the Tzadik of the Year award anyway. It's, I mean, he went and stole a carbon oil for goodness sake. <laughs> I don't think he's so concerned about the Kahanim. Right, but anyway, it's it's a way for him. I mean, Lachaira when he pays back, I mean, he's got other issues to do. What's he doing with this? With what's he doing with the shor of the guy? Right, what is he doing with it? Well, if he's not Machbid on stealing, he's probably not Machbid on what he's eating. So he's going to eat. True, we found we found cases where he's not Machbid on stealing, but he's Machbid on other things. But I, what's he going to going to be? I mean, he's going to be. He's going to be over on all sorts of isurim if he uses it, no? Um, feed, it to his, feed it to his goy. I don't know. <laughs> what, I don't know exactly what's going to be, but either way, so that's... Um, anyway, so that's according to him, and, and, and the Rebbe Lozav and Azar is even more maker. If a guy says he's, he's, has an, he's bringing an oil, Yobi Kevis, he can bring a Kevis. That's a Tanakam. He could even bring a, a Tor, a Dove, or a Ben Yaina, or even a year old Dove. Right? My, my, so, my, so what's it in me? I'm Rinan, Shame, Oila, Kibali, Love. Do we say that the owner was Makabal on himself to bring an oil? Right, which means okay, and he'll bring an oil. He gets paid back an oil. And he'll bring an oil. I don't want to say I'm not mitzvah in a mukher being a lemeber. He said that it's a mitzvah in a mukher. I want to do mitzvah in a mukher, which is I want to. Uh, I wanted. I said I'm bringing an ox, so I want to bring an ox. So that's the shaila, meaning a mamela. The crook has to give him back. So possibly boy, after he asked the shaila, had the pasha, he answered, "Gana potter atzma be gana potter atzma be keves l'rab." The Ganav potters himself with this, which is an interesting lashon, right? Rachman, if he potters himself, it's not like it's not like he's doing the lefnim shuras hadin, right? He's he's yeah, he, it's fine, it's fine. Sounds like there's a makam for him to to do to do to, to actually give back the shot, right? The Chum gave him a way not to. What what? Yeah, they did, but it says so. What's the potter at the 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 hechshu? But they give a hechshu, but you shouldn't use it. They don't give a hechshu on it. Do we ask you to go to Vietnam and give a hechshu on that on soy sauce? Don't give it then if you think it's a problem. What they what they tell the guy he can bring a sheep for a dollar, then he say, but no, nah, but then they tell, tell him it's also. Yeah, but it's uh, um. 
Okay, but there's there's Lifnim Ashur Sadin and then there's less than that, no? This wasn't Lifnim. The guy had bought us, he stole the three thousand dollars shard. This guy waited four years to bring this over. He's been learning Sashari Chuva for four years. He finally says up enough money. He wants to do a real chuva. He had he had a, a major issue in his, his house. And th this this Jackie is t takes it. Mm. Right. Well, <laughs> it's true. It's right. So that so what are you saying then? So you're saying that he should he shouldn't pay him back? The, 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 whatever he paid, let the guy pay, pay whatever the guy stole from the guy. What, what? Yeah, I hear. I hear. Yeah, but he didn't steal just a shore. He stole a stole a shore that's an Ola. Oh, so it's, then it's then it's easier for him because he's not trying to say because it was more kedusha. So therefore, he can get away with very good. Why don't you start a new religion? I'm working on it. Working on it. Okay, so good. It doesn't need to. The Gemara did it. <laughs> if you start a new religion and you're upstate and nobody's there to hear it, do you? Did you really start a new religion? <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, so there's a whole tumult here. Because if you go Rip Shimon, he holds if it's not edible, you're not Chayiv Dalar Behe anyway. So the question is, right, you wouldn't be Chayiv Dalar Behe if he, if he, if he shechted it, etc. Okay. Rav Acha Breda Rav Yikam Masni Lebehedya Amar Rav Ahare Elai Oyla V'hik V'shar Ubo Acher V'ganhu Potter Atzmei Bekeves L'Rabbanu Ubo Elas Oyla Rav Elaz Ben Azariah And uh, yeah, so bottom line is we pass him that the, the crook does get away with it. Right? And anyway, so I look at the little tisus there. It's a little bit longer tisus than we uh, than we usually do, right? But uh, but it's still uh, it's still short enough. It says right? It's, right? It's it's it Somebody who makes a nether that right? it's it's posh that he can pass himself. Unless he wants to do a mitzvah minamukra. Yeah. Okay. So Zog the Mishnah. Machri chutz me echad me mea shabai. If a guy sells sells it, right? So we know that if you steal a, an animal and you sell it, so let's say you sold it and you said, I'm selling you, I'm giving you a 99%, uh, what do you call it? What's they say when they do a partnership? A 99% stake. A 99, no pun intended on the stake. A 99% stake in the animal, right? And he's keeping 1%. Or he has a partner with the animal. Meaning what he did is he had a shutuf. And like unfortunately happens a lot with shutfas. The guy rips off his shutuf and he just steals the animal from his shutuf. Right? So which means he only stole half an animal. In those two cases, basically the crook still has a part of the animal when he sold it. So we're going to say that if that's the case, he doesn't pay Tashumi Kefal. Because he only paid Tashumi Kefal if he sells the entire animal. And then the, the second case, Ashaykhif and his Navla other, we actually brought this up a couple of days ago, and I didn't even know it was this Mishnah. Maybe I did know and I forgot. Ashaykhif and his Navla other, the guy shechts. And if it comes Did in, you mean Dal Vahey, not Kefal, right? I say Kefal, I meant Dal Vahey. Well, Kefal okay. is included. So I'm, not, I'm not officially wrong. Oh, uh, okay. Kefal is a portion of Dal Vahey. Okay. okay. <laughs> in my defense. But, anyways, yes, yeah, Dal Vahey. Thank you. So the guy shaft and it became an available. And he did a he was he was a good crook, but he was a lousy shaykh. Right? So it became an available. A neucher, or neucher means he uh he he cut it, he cut it, he uh uh how do you call him the khira? Meaning you cut it from its nose down. Bamaakir and he sort of uh, uprooted it. You were Iker the Simon. I mean you didn't do a kosher shita. You just basically killed it around its neck area. So Mashalam Tashume Kefal, you pay Kefal, Vayna Mashalam Tashume Arba Chamisha, but you do not pay Arba Chamisha. Um, right, that's so I was 100% wrong, Rachel. No, right? If you're not paying, you're paying Kefal, you're not paying Dalit Vahe. Right, because Kefal has nothing to do with it. You stole an animal and you denied it and you get caught, you pay Kefal. Okay, right. So again, the mission is just saying two different, two totally separate things. One is that the guy has to sell a full animal if he has any portion of it. He doesn't pay dollar behe, but does pay kefa. And if he botches the shita, then it's a problem. Now, um, Rashi points out that when it says it's potter, it's even according to the rabbanon, 
because it's not considered a shechita. Meaning, we had this machlekes of Rav Shimon. Rav Shimon held that if the animal's a trefa, there's no dalit behei because the animal needs to be edible. So this sounds like this would only go according to Rav Shimon. Rashi says no. This is even according to Rabbanon because if you if you do a bad shechita, it's not a shechita. It's just not a shechita. So Mamela, how can you pay dalit behei if you didn't do a shechita? Right. So when we when we say it was shaykh, it means when we say the mach was shaykh, we're meaning we're meaning that it's only where it's royal achila to to yidden, where nevela is muta b'hano and nevela you're allowed to sell it, you know. So and other and you can give it to your dog, your 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 evid, your goy, whatever, you know. So it's it's not. It's, so when we say it was shaykh. We're not. We're not talking about as royal achil as somebody else. It means you're royal achil for an elach yid, you know, or yid for that matter. Well, according to what you're saying, because if it wants us, it's an avail, it doesn't mean that it's also about hanor. You know what I mean? No, just, no, but he patched the shrita. Someone Rashi says he patched the shrita. It's not a shrita. So how can you be chayiv dalit behe if you didn't? If he wasn't a shrita. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. Well, we still use the term shchita by a shchita's akum. It's still called it's called shchita, but it's not it's not oh, kosher. This, oh, and this the mitzvah. This wasn't a shchita. He didn't do it properly. It either became a nevela because his, his shchita was bad, or he totally yanked out the kana and the vesha. So nevela was not even din and shchita. Didn't have a din shchita at all. So it's late. So let's go a little more tomorrow. So my so tomorrow my puts me me echad me me What does it mean uh, except for a hundred? What what part of the animal does the guy still have to retain for himself? Right? So I'm a Rav. So Rav has a very strict interpretation. He says it's it's except for something that's nitter with, with it with the shrita, meaning if he sells the animal but he keeps the horns or he keeps the wool, that's not that's not called keeping a chelik of it. He has to have a chelik of the edible part. The Levi Omar Chutzmi Gitzeser. The Levi says, "No, as long as he, as long as he sells it, except for its hair, for except for the wool, then that's also enough." The Chayin Tanim Masnisa Chutzmi Gitzeser. The Bright Sofer says, "Except for the wool." So Meisve says so the Kasha. So there's going to be three sheetas now in the in the in the in the Amirayim, actually in the Tanoim, and then there's going to be a fourth sheeta. Meisve Machu Chutzmi Yada Chutzmi Ragla Chutzmi Karna. If he sells the animal, except for its arm or its foot. Or its horn, or except for its wool, he doesn't pay Avram Chamisha. Why? Because he had a yad. He had something, uh, no pun, that was also pun. He had a portion of the animal. Rebbe, I'm a Dabra Ma'akib Bishrita, and a Mashal to Shumi Avram Chamisha. If it's Ma'akib in the Shrita, right? Meaning, um, it would make it an Avela. If, it's, if, uh, if he sold it besides for a uh, part of the animal that would make it into a veil, which means it was not kosher, but if he takes like a leg and he rips it off, so it's not going to be a nevela from that. He can have an animal live for a long time without a leg. So then he would have to pay Avra Chamisha. That's the middle sheet. Except for its horn. It does not pay... Um, but except for the hair, then he would. So he's, Rav Shimon Lazar differentiates between the horn, if the guy sells the whole animal except for the horn, or he sells the whole animal except for the wool, right? So, which we'll see in a minute. So Bishlam al Levi Katana Kama. So Levi holds like Katana Kama, because Levi says, as long as you kept control of any part of the animal, including the wool, that's enough that you're not Chayav Dalavay. El Rachamim, the animals that have wool, do they also have horns or vice versa? Uh, oh, you mean as a such sheep, a sheep? The sheep don't have don't have horns. Do, no. There are any animals that have both? Oh. That's the, are any animals that have both? Yeah. Of course, sheep have horns. No, no, sheep the sheep right. have horns. Okay. Yeah, they do. Okay. All sheep do not have right. horns. Ram, rams are sheep. Say it again. All sheep. sheep do not have horns. Yes. Um, but many breeds do. Oh, okay. It's not a claw. There are a lot of okay, most fine. sheep that have, you. but some some don't. So okay, all right. They're mutants, yeah. like yes, they stop. Maybe they're mutants or or cross okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting silly with the sheep. Okay, fine. <laughs> anyway, okay. So Elo the Rav, come on. Who does Rav go with? Amri, Amri, Rav. 
the Amar ki atan the tan of Shimon Alaza Raimer is a different Rav Shimon Alaza. Machra chutz mi yada, the chutz mi ragla. If he sells it except for her hand, meaning the animal's hand, the chutz mi ragla ainu mishal to Shimon Alaza Chamisha. Chutz mi karna, but if if he sells it except for the horn, chutz mi gizaseh except for the wool, mishal to Shimon Alaza Chamisha, because that's not considered part of the animal. All right, so Rav, so Rav would have would go like. Uh, uh, Rav would go like this shita because it's saying chutz miyada chutz miragla, which is edible. Okay, so by my kamit figi, um, what's the machloikis? Tanakam is of the tov choy. It says the tov choy kula, meaning you need to shech the entire animal, right? Meaning umachroy kula, meaning you need both. You need the entire thing. Meaning, so if you don't have kula, the entire animal, no matter what. Then it's uh, then it is no dollar baby. Rebbe sober the tov chay midi to have a betricha. Tov chay means it has to be something that is part of the shrita. La fuki midi the loy have a betricha. Come to exclude something that's not part of the shrita. O machro do me the tricha. Then the mechira is going to be similar to the tricha. Rosh Hashanah sober karna the loy la migza kaimas a horn that's not usually cut off havishir. So that's considered. You're still owning part of the animal. And if he retains ownership of the horn, it doesn't be Arachamisha. He's a sell, the Lamega's kindly, but wool, wool is always cut off. Right? So that's not considered leaving off the animal, like we said yesterday. Anything that normally gets cut off is considered like cut off. So the Mamela, if he just retains the ownership of the wool, so then that's not considered ownership. Mashal Tashim Haru Khamishi pays Haru Khamish. Be the Tana Dweira Bshim and Allah Sabah Yodama Ragla Trihi Tvicha, right? Hands and feet that require Tvicha Havi Shir. It's considered Shir. The Lai Mashal Tashim Haru Khamisha. And he doesn't pay Haru Khamish. Karna Vizza said, the Lai Trihi Tvicha Lai Havi Shir. But Karna Sevaz said that don't need Tvicha, that's not, that don't need Shrita is not considered a Shir. Okay, so the Maisa, we have a steer on Rabshim and Allah. So Kasha the Rishim and Elazar Rishim and Elazar because we have two shitas. So my answer is clear, simply trade Tanayim. I leave it to Rishim and Elazar. The two Tanayim arguing what Rishim and Elazar says. Fine, Tana Rabbanam Hagoyin of Hakitas. A guy steals a a, a kitas, meaning the leg is cut off. He stole an animal after its leg was cut off. That's a chigeres, or if it was lame. That's a suma or a blind animal. Vehen Hagoyin of Behemas Hashutven, or he already stole. A behemoth that belongs to partners. Chayiv, then he's chayiv dalad behemoth because the animal was already damaged before he stole it. The shutim she 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 gonvu and shutim that stole the turim are are potter. So the Gemara says what tanya shutim she gonvu chayiv. We we said that shutim that steal are chayiv. So the Gemara says the pasuk the difference. I'm not going to like kasha. Kam b'shutu she gonvu me chaveray. Kam b'shutu she gonvu me alma. One is talking about a shutuf who steals from his friend, right? So meaning he stole, he stole, like we said in the Mishnah, he stole his partner's animal. Right? So there he doesn't pay Tali Bhai. Because he, he didn't steal, he only stole half an animal. Kamba Shutu should gonna me alma. But here he stole from somebody else. If he stole from somebody else, then it's then he does have to pay Tali Bhai. But it's a Sri Rabbi Ramachman, Yoko Shutu should gonna make a very shut and shagon will you chayovin. You would think that shutif that steals from his friend and shutfin <coughs> that steal together, you'd think that chayav hamalar but tavchoy kulavin and you need to do the whole thing, the leka and you don't have that, right? So so you see that you shutfin are never chayav kefal even if the two shutfin go steal from somebody else. Hello, my Rav Nachman, like kasha kam b'shutif shetovach l'das chaveroi. One is talking with the shutif. Did it with the das of his friend and Khan Bashut of Sh Shatovak Shaloila Das Khaveri. And what is talking about what is a shut of that he shafted Shaloila Das Khaveri. Right? Meaning the Shaila is, is he considered a Shliach? Is he considered a Shliach or not? Right? So if he's considered a Shliach, so then he's gonna be he's gonna be Chayat. Right? But if he does it without the Das of his friend, then you don't have that he's that that you don't have the um, that he owns the whole thing. Okay, do we have time to finish it tomorrow? Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's such a shy boy, Rabbi Yirmiyah. Although it's a lumpish thing. Let's say the guy sold it 
And he said, I'm selling you the animal, but just not for 30 days. So it's not a long-term, he's not maintaining a long-term share in the animal. He's maintaining a short-term. So um, Chutz Mimelach, the Ori says, I'm selling you the animal, but I get to work with it in the field. Chutz Mimelach, says, this is a pregnant animal. I'm selling you the animal, but not the fetus. So Ma, what's it then? I'll leave it the man, don't worry about it. Didn't we have it. stuff like this in, in, in Kedushin that it didn't work? Didn't work out what? What, what the, uh, divorce, except for this, except for that. Uh, the, if yeah. you own it, you own it. If you sell yeah. it, you're selling it. It's not yours. You can't. That needs you need a needs to be a full a full um, separation. Right? And a sale doesn't have to be a full, full sale. Yeah, you can sell whatever you want. You can sell whatever you want. But here, here's the Didn't issue. Did we compare it back then? No, I don't. Uh, maybe we did. I don't. I don't remember. Anyways. So I'll leave it on the mandama over Yerachima who like the Baal. the mandama says over over is considered the thigh of its mother like the Baal. The Shire Baal. He because he left over part of the animal. Kiti Baal. I'll leave it the mandama over Lavi Yerachima. It's going according to the Shita that says the over is not the Yerachima. So my what's it? Neimer Amrin on Kibud the Mechuber Baal Happy Shir. Since it's attached to the animal, it's considered a leftover. I do what Kibud the Kibud the Lemifresh Mina. Since it's going to eventually be separated from the mother. That's not called leaving it over, and therefore he would be chayev dalid vehe, right? Because it was never part of the mother at all. Igadamri, or another way, look at it the opposite. Kiman the lab yerachimoy, since it's not yerachimoy, loy habishir, so that's not called leaving it off, leaving out. Oydilma, or say, kiman the tzarog lashtuy bahada bashkita, since you need to leave it in there if you want it to be kosher bashkita, which means basically a ben pakua, which is that if the animal dies, inside the stomach, or the animal is alive, and the mother, you shecht it, then that animal that's in there does not need shechita anymore, because it's mutter of the shechita of the mother. Right? So since, but it needs to be in there for the shechita, so command the shir begufa dami, it's as if you left something over, so that's the shayla, and teku, we say, we say teku. Um, one more, boy rafafa, ganva kata umacha, let's say he stole it, Right, he cut it. He cut off the leg, and uh, and then he sold it. Ma'am, me, I mean, my the gun of Halayzavin. What he stole, he didn't sell, and therefore he's potter. Right, Adilma, my the zavin Halayshayer. Or may we say no? What he sold, he sold everything. He didn't leave anything out. I Meaning, does it go buster when he stole it? In which case, he didn't sell the animal he stole, and therefore he, he would be potter. Or do we say no? He he sold the full animal, whatever it is. What he sold, he sold. So the Moran says, take it. So we say take it. All right. Um, we'll say it till him quickly. Uh, uh, um, hold on a second. Uh, okay, pick him. Yeah, Shimon's my last off.